Um, the book is being launched on the 18th of May um, with a, a talk that I'm giving uh, in Lewisham, uh, my local town, um, and hopefully there'll be a, a, a few people along there that will find it uh, interesting and the talk interesting. I hope if you can't make it that you might find it interesting to get the book and to, to read the book. Um, I really like this book. I, I, I must say, I really like all my books, but I particularly like this one because this is the kind of book that I love. It's got lots and lots of facts in it, in the writing sense, but in the pictures, there's not just photographs of the period. There are artifacts of the period. So it's full of, of, of photographs, but also genuine photographs here. We have some women's land army badges and so on. Um, some of the leaflets of the period. It really is the ephem ephemera of the time and the facts behind them. One slice of bread a day less uh, will save two ships a week or whatever. Uh, all these kind of things. The Win the War cookery book. All of the things that we'd expect to see in the Second World War, there they are in the First World War. Um, and of course here we are with the early rationing schemes, the local rationing schemes that came in and then the national rationing schemes. A copy which was so copied in the Second World War, uh, anybody knows about the Second World War rationing will know you had the buff adult book and the green child's book. And here we are in the First World War with the buff adult book and the green child's book. Exactly the same. It, it's no coincidence, of course, they copied the scheme. The scheme worked well, so let's use it. And um, I genuinely hope that if you are at all interested in uh, the First World War, the home front in the First or Second World Wars, or just how ordinary people live, social history, you will find stuff in here that you will find interesting. Now, I certainly found it riveting to write and to research, and I hope you will find it just as easy to read.